Hi, it's um, let me think. It's August, uh, 2016. Um, great car basic demonstration. WSM2812 LED driver. I just got it hooked up to a micro microchip express board. Let's have a quick look at that, and then uh, let's have a look at what it's doing first, shall we? Um, got some stuff open. Oh, here we go. Here we have. Um, this is the microchip. Uh, board. We'll have a look at that in a second. This is the LEDs, and as you can see, the LEDs are doing their funky stuff. Okay, they are chasing. Um, if I adjust the LED, oh sorry, the potentiometers on this board, you will see that things get faster to a point where you cannot see them on this camera. Now, on this program, when you rotate this, it will actually lock. It will actually um, pause the um, chase. Rotate, 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 slow, 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 slow. Now, believe it or not, that is red. Okay, all right. That is red. Oh, no, that's green. That's white. Um, this is red. Oh, you can see a slight red tinge. Um, and then finally, that must be yellow, yellow. And then the next one will be green. Let me just... Um, that's green. Let me just push out the D. If I hold down the LED, that is white. All right, that is red. That must be yellow, as in the traffic light system. Yellow, yeah, that's yellow. And that is green. Yep, there we go. Again, if you rotate the pole, it will flash a different pulse rate. There we go, it's flashing a different pulse rate. I push that switch. And you can see it's pulsing. What else is this? That's the standard limit. What else does this thing do? If I unplug it or power down the chip, I hold down that switch. I'll come at it from a different angle. Put turn the power on. I'm getting. Let's do it again. Do it properly. What am I getting there? The Xylon lights. Now I'll have a play with this code in a second. Okay, so basically it's got two actions. One action, the default action, is um, uh, chase, and uh, chase and chase and pulse. And then the second one is the Xylon. That this switch does nothing on Xylon. Okay, for those who are asking if that's in white, that is in white. So what have I got? I've got microchip express board. I've got. Um, Two Earths hooked up, a 5-volt uh, supply. Do not use that for more than driving more than these eight LEDs. You need your own power supply. And finally, you have got a, a signal light, which is on RC7. So what are these things? These are our WS2812. So this is a little thing. This cost me one English pound. Ball minus a penny. What's the code look like? Uh, it's a great guy, think code looks pretty simple. Right, all documented, um, all about what the demonstration does. So it does this LED chaser, flashes all the LEDs, Xylon chaser. You've got two ways of doing this. You've got the CLC approach or the bit banging approach. This is timed for 32, um, 32 megahertz in terms of CLC. We'll see what happens when we play with that. So you can see Zalan's running. Okay. So what have we got? We've got the standard setup for the um, chip. I hope that's not in the demonstration I've released. That little typo. Uh, this sets up the configuration. Then you've got a couple of options. Let's just focus on these in this demo. This is using PNW pulse width modulation, which is controlled by the CLC driver of this particular microchip. Or you can bit bang it. So let's. This is currently running on pulse width. Let's just uh, recompile. It takes seven seconds to recompile. <laughs> it will take a bit longer because I'm videoing. That takes up that takes up some processing power. I will put my screwdriver in here. Meanwhile, waiting for that to program. Sorry about this. This does take a few seconds. There we go. 
there we have a right uh, we have a, a green and so that is using bit banging looks the same because it should be the same so the timing is slightly different okay and if you want to turn off the tracer just all the xylem just comment one of these out okay so this will work down to 16 bit banging will work at 16 um i think the clc is time for 32 so you're pretty well uh, locked in at 32 for all the um CLC. What have you got in here? Uh, for the CLC, you need to set up all the CLC drivers quite clearly and the output on um, RC7, which is the output of the um, CLC driver. Uh, you don't not need you don't need that for um, bit banging, so therefore this has an if diff around it. Um, Bowed rate, if you want to do some debug, this sets up all the uh, standard code. Right. This is where you can, be, have, you can have a little bit of fun on your own. If you want to do just four pixels, you change the pixel count. So if you have a thousand of these things, make sure you change the power supply. You would simply change that and it will address the first four pixels. Quite simple. Currently it's addressing eight of those pixels. Once it's recompiled, it's currently um, doing its stuff lot. It will now do four. Okay, all right. It's addressing four of them. Um, let me just think. What else you can do in here? Um, this is um, these are just program changes, but this is the key one: the pixel count. How many pixels? How many devices are in there? And then you've got the actual code. You've got initialization. You can have a look at that. That sets up the CLC and any timing. And then you've got the 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 switch test if the switch is pushed pushed down when it's turned on. You got an if do xylon, which is then the xylon code, which is this little it's a little bit of code in actual fact, okay? Alright. Most of it is actually testing the fact whether it's beeps bit banging or doing pulse width modulation to be quite frank, okay. Alright. Um, it just needs a slightly bit of different it needs some slightly different timings on bit banging to ensure um it actually does it correctly but this is the main code here which is essentially take the xylon uh, state out of this out of a, what's called a xylon array how many pixels are you, you're putting it out to and then it says send that color well i've got it set to white so why don't we set that to red now you need to figure out all the colors are in um three bytes so when i recompile that that will put that back to um red and then in everything that's um is turned on in my array is set red otherwise it's black then it sends it uh sends it to um so send the data this bit data out um, with the color to the device then rotate and what's in this function uh, depends upon which what you're using if you're using um, clc it will do it one way if you're using bit it uses it another way then it does delay then there's some stuff in here for the um, adc uh, value because remember just to recap to remind you recap 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 if you turn the pot it gets slower or faster it's not it's only a simple simple operation um, I'll just hex and flash that whilst I'm waiting. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. So this should work on any 32 megahertz device or 16 megahertz device if in case of the fact that you're um, a bit banging, but um, I'd imagine it will work slower. You just have to get the timing figured out. Okay, back to eight and it's definitely on uh, it's definitely on uh, doing its funky stuff in terms of um, chaser, unplug, Plug it back in, and now we're doing xylem, and we're doing xylem in red. Okay. Then down here you've got the do tracer. Well, here's some here are the colours lot, and you can then mix and match uh, masses of colours in here quite clearly. I've written a uh, little long hang, um, handler for long bytes. Okay, so that gets around there, and then basically it just sends the colours uh, using the same sort of process. If the, if a bit is set, then it sends it out. So it's pretty simple. Um, it's very simple in actual fact, okay? Um, that's um, the, the, the R and this is the timing, okay? All right, so let's make sure our little Xylon thing works. Coolie, coolie. Get slower, rotate it, it will get faster. 
and you can do all sorts of other things in here okay I'm sure but the uh, question was raised uh, 2812 driver and I think that works uh, we'll call that a wrap